Hi everyone, this is Okan and now we are in, in front of this beautiful New York skyline with Mr. Elian and Mr. Ahmed. I'm finally meeting with Mr. Elian. He was my instructor back in my academy days uh, last year. I graduated, it's been a year. I'm working as a QA software tester for now. And it's my first time in New York City. It's beautiful over here. I like the weather, I like the buildings and everything, but why we are here? Because we want to talk about our academy, what we do, and then uh, do we need any English skills? Do we need any like the IT skills or anything like that? So I'm gonna ask some questions that has been asked to me a lot. I know my followers are watching this video. Let's start with introducing Mr. Elin and Mr. Ahmed and who is Neotech Academy. So my name is Elion Limanai and I have I have been a software developer for almost 20 years right now. I work in I have worked in this uh, career for almost 20 years and uh, a lot of friends of mine ha have asked me if they would be able to to work as mm -hmm. software testers or engineers or let's say in IT in general and that's why we decided to to start this bootcamp so that we can help the students or the, we can help our friends that to, to gain a career in, in this field. Yeah, my name is Ahmed and I'm, I'm working as a career engineer and you know, we started New York Academy. I'm one of the co-founders with Elion, with Isan. We have something in common other than we're both working as a career engineers that yeah. Elion is also, I was also my job instructor. So oh. being New York Academy's lead instructor, uh, he is also the one who taught us like uh, how to code in Java. So they have that in common. Yeah, I had some like issues with Java, but Mr. Elin, he really helped me a lot. He always answered my questions on Slack or any, like, if I have like any questions, I can even reach him like with my phone number, stuff like that. So that's the, that's really supportive. And then I really appreciate it. I see create testers over here. Maybe you guys don't even know what is create tester. So software tester, QA engineer, QA tester, they're all the same, like different titles. What do we do? Uh, in a software development team, we are responsible of testing the application if it's created by the necessary requirements and if it's created well, so it's simple enough. And of course, in order to do that, we use different tools, different applications, and on top of it, why? what, what makes our job special? And yeah, of course, it's relaxed, but at the same time, what, what makes us uh, in, a, in a really important position in, in a company is that we are able to automate that process. So that's the, that's all about it. Because as you know, there is like a testing jobs, which is called manual testing. What, I mean, most of you, most of us actually are manual testers. Like what I mean by that is, we all know how to go to a certain application and do some like a testing and which is called ad hoc testing. You know, you just go there and click yeah. around and see if the application is working. I'm sure you, you've, you've had, you have problems with the, the Amazon website, like just getting an error and everything but we're also able to automate that process. So which means uh, we can use Java programming language, combine it with Selenium, uh, with a Maven framework, and with other tools like Cucumber or TestNG. We're able to automate that process, and not just for the front end, but also the back end. So I know like I can, again, I'm, I'm giving too much technical details, but at the end of it, a software testing or like software tester a person who's responsible of ensuring the highest quality of the application. And I, I'm pretty sure you can also answer this question yeah. because like you have it's enough. It's been a year, it's been a year, but I, I still can answer this question. So what I do, actually, I do manual testing first just to make sure the web application is working as expected. And after that, I automate it. And then since I got my classes Java and the Selenium and Cucumber, actually, my company, they use the same tools. So I was lucky because I already got my knowledge from academy and then i start doing like automation and it was really good my company got really excited about that because they didn't know that i know selenium java and cucumber i was explaining them and then i became creative lead in the team so that was another good thing just because like after six months going to academy and then you join the company and then you're like a creative lead after a year so it feels really good and um yeah i'm really happy we just got a coffee break and we have more questions coming up. So the first question is, do we need any IT background? And do we need any college degree? Yeah, so to join, anyone can join our bootcamp and they don't need any uh, background. So as long as they take the bootcamp seriously, as long as they study, even with no background, like I can say more than 90% of our students, they don't have any background in IT. Uh, and they don't have any, uh, like say, 
computer science background mm -hmm. they can start a boot camp at the beginning like first weeks until they are get, they, they get used to it they have like the first week we go slowly and then after that they can learn everything and at the end of the boot camp uh, they are able to find a job yeah. and, we, and we call it a six digits job six digits. <laughs> yeah so let's say we have a housewife and then she wants to be a engineer she wants to get a like six digit job opportunity so is it possible yes so definitely um, as long as as long as she is dedicated to study mm -hmm. for the sick for the during the duration of the six months mm -hmm. and uh, as long as she is able to uh, to have a, a, spec a level of English to understand mm -hmm. the topics and and then when she goes to the interview she should also be able to explain mm -hmm. the topics that she knows the questions that are asked to her uh, she has to be able to answer those topics so yes even without a college degree we have a lot of students who have a, a degree in education yeah. in, in medicine or other topics and then they start they start the boot camp and then they are able to learn in six months and to be there to, to be able to, to find a job so this is this is what I would add uh, again that is true we have so when we look at our students they're coming from different backgrounds some of them are housewives some of them are truck drivers Uber drivers they're like some when we have some like uh, healthcare professionals uh, so they don't have any limitation whatsoever as long as they have yeah. the, they have the requirements which are English level and it doesn't have to be uh, English level that like uh, you, you have to know English as long as you understand our classes and you're able to uh, you're able to explain yourself. So let's say I graduate from Neotok Academy, I attend my classes, I do my homeworks, I'm the perfect student. Then I'm in a job market, I apply for the job positions and then I got my offer. So what is the average salary as a QA tester? The average salary for a QA tester is 90k to 130k. Uh, our average for our students is 105k so it can be anywhere up to 130k and all the way down to the 90k but this is how it goes but of course like uh we can, we should as an as an alumni of Neto academy we should ask you this so what's your salary uh, i didn't expect to get this question actually uh so what i see if you prefer really good if you trust yourself if you have a confidence i'm sure you can get six digits it can be 100, it can be 120, it can be 140. I have some friends, they reach that level, but it all depends on you, the dedication and the negotiation. That's, yeah. that's the part you're expert. And then I met Help Me a lot, guys. So when I got my first offer, I was like, oh, this is really nice offer. I gotta accept it. And then Ahmed told me that, no, not yet. And then, I don't know, I don't wanna give some details, but Ahmed is here, he's, he's gonna be helping you guys. So I met Isan and any other Neotech Academy members. They are really good at it. They're really supportive because sometimes people, they lose their motivation. You know, it, it takes some time. So first interview, it doesn't have to be perfect interview. We need some time. But yeah, I can say six digits. And then from there, it can go up. It can go a little bit down, but it all depends on the person. That is so true. Give you negotiation tactics. But I have to get the best offer uh, ever that you can get from one deal. Another thing is we are in close contact with our students and yeah. we know when they get demotivated and in order to you know, bring their spirits up, uh, we know which, how to reach out to them. And so that's something that we are again, really proud of. Yeah, it's not just technical skills. It's also about like job market skills, I guess, because even if you know everything about Java coding, Selenium and everything, but if you don't express yourself in a way that people who interviews you, you know, they are interested in, that's another thing. So it's not just about technical skills, guys. That's what I learned in our job market. It's kind of depends on how you sell yourself, like how confidence you have. I think that's the thing. So another question I get is like, how do you support students to get an interview? Yeah, so actually we talk about uh, technical skills. We talk about Java programming language and Selenium and the others. But actually, during the week, we have one class which is dedicated for, for interview preparation. So since the, from the first week to the end, we have one specific class to prepare students for the interviews. Then when we're done with one topic, let's say when we're done with Java, then we, pre we give them some interview questions. Yeah. We, we teach them uh, how to answer those questions. And then after every topic, we give them interview questions. Also, we have... Um, like we have one-on-one -on -one support to our students so uh, during the class there's a teacher who's explaining the class but there are a couple of TAs or teacher assistants which are helping the students mm -hmm. you know, on the on like that are, that are having uh, technical problems or the, like they help them with 
with uh, answers. Also, we have mentor sessions where we have uh, as people who are who have experience in the field, and then they have a group of assigned of group of 10 to 12 students. They help them every week. They mm -hmm. teach them what are the terminologies and things that are used in the market. Also, they help them when they do the project. So we give three big projects to them to automation and one manual testing. So the mentors also help the students with these projects. And also after everything is done, after we talk all about these classes, at the end of the bootcamp, we also have, let's say, job preparation sessions, how how to prepare the resume, how to how to apply for a job. All this yeah. information are given to them. And then at the end, we, we do the mock interview, which is a very yeah. thing that we do. That's a final assessment that we do to the student if they're ready for the market or, or, or not. If they can answer all these questions, then they're able to start looking for a job and applying for a job. And additionally, we hold office hours where our students can just like book and like come to the office times and just get, they can ask their questions. Of course, once they graduated, they're not just leaving them alone. This is a really important part. Once you're in the Academy family, as you are, they're always yeah. there and we keep supporting them. We keep like checking on them and we keep, we we'll never stop our support unless they're satisfied. So this is, yeah. this is how it goes. So I have another question for you, Ahmed. Uh, you know, my followers, my subscribers, they always ask me, so I have to ask you. So let's say we graduate from the Network Academy. Do you guys guarantee that we're gonna have a job as a QA tester? This is a great question, we get that a lot. First of all, yeah, we have a really high success rate in terms of job placement. I would, students who was able to find a job, uh, we, our success rate is uh, more than 90% at this moment. However, job guarantee it's, uh, it, it is a concept that cannot be provided. Why? Because there are a lot of factors inside of it. But how, again, we provide them everything they need to know in terms of how to find a job, how to apply jobs, all the extensive market knowledge. But when it comes to their performance in an interview, there are stuff that we cannot control, obviously. But yeah, so uh, the job guarantee part, whoever promises such a thing, it is unfortunately not true. Yeah. But what is true is the data we have, which is uh, more than 90% of yeah. a success rate. So if they don't do their homeworks, then I'm gonna get the job, right? Again, we have <laughs> homeworks, we have projects, we have like, we, we provide them all the knowledge they need to know, but it's what matters is how they absorb it. So also I wanted to add something. We always talk about students or people with other background can come and do the bootcamp and find a job at the end. And it's like easy for everybody to be able to find a job. But of course, they need dedication. We all said, so that is the key, dedication, commitment. If they take this one seriously, if they do the homework, if they do the projects, if they join all the sessions, then they'll be able to find a job. If they don't take the bootcamp seriously, we're, we're sorry, but we cannot help them. So I have to work like 40, 50 hours, driving in downtown, everywhere in Orlando. But let's say I attend the classes, I joined the Neotech Academy. So how many hours do I need to spend my time? Because I need to, you know, kind of manage my income because the, I don't know how many hours do I need to spend in the academy. So like, how many hours do they need in a week? Okay, so in total, we have 17 hours of classes in a week. And on top of that, we have some homeworks, some assignments, some project works. And of course, like everybody has a different process of uh, learning new stuff. And on like with that included, I would say 20 to 25 hours a week would be more than enough to uh, master this program. Yeah. So also we have assigned the schedule in a way that uh, people who are working, they, because people have to take care of their families, right? So yeah. we have like parents or I don't know, like members, people. Yeah. So the schedule is, uh, during the weekdays is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is three hours on like from 7 to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Eastern time, of course, if you're in different time zone, you have to calculate yeah. your time, but it's 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so it's nine hours. And then during the weekends, it's from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., so four hours on Saturday, four hours on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So that is our schedule of the classes. On top of it, they have to do the homework. They yeah. also have to work with their group together. So the more time they spend, the better it is, but the minimum, this is the minimum that they need. So as we always say, commitment is important. Yeah. Sometimes some of the students, they, they don't join the classes. Of course, we record other classes and we, we, yeah. they're, they're able to watch, to rewatch the classes, to, to watch if they didn't catch the classes. And I generally, I try to joke because we don't have kids there, right? All, all of them are adults. So I say, if you were kids, I would call your parents. But if you're married, I'm going to call your spouse. <laughs> so I'm going to call your wife or your husband to yeah. make sure that you're joining the classes. I have another question. So I joined the Nerd Academy, but I changed my mind. I want to quit. 
What's the process? So that's a good question. So we're, we as a Neotech Academy, we're proud of our 30 days trial period. So what do we mean by this? The students, they can enroll to the classes, they can watch all the classes for the first 30 days. And then just before the trial period ends, we announce to the students, do you want to continue? Or if it's not for you, if you don't like it, or if, if, you, if you cannot do it or whatever is the reason, then you can drop the class and we don't continue with the payments and we, we refund 100% even the first payment. So uh, that's a good thing. We do this one because we want them to see for themselves. A lot of people are scared. They say, can I do this one? Is it for me or not? Try it for yourself. You can try it. You have nothing to lose. Uh -huh. So you will be able to see for yourself. And also uh, another like benefit for us is that people that try it and like it, even if it's not for them, they, they, they uh, suggest it to the other people uh, yeah. to, to, to give it a try. So they have nothing to lose. Yeah, right. So that's all the questions I have. Thanks for answering all those in details. And guys, if you guys wanna pursue your IT career with Neotech Academy, you can reach out those guys. They are the experts. It's been more than a year as a QA tester and then I'm really liking it so far. And thanks for having me with this beautiful city. It's a huge city, but I'm really liking it so far. And yeah, thank you. It's our pleasure and thank you for having us in your video. For thank sure. you, thank you.